The discovery of Cleopatra's tomb stands as one of the most exciting and enigmatic accomplishments in archaeology. Cleopatra, the last ruler of Egypt's Ptolemaic dynasty, has captivated people for centuries with her intellect, political acumen, and legendary romances with Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. For generations, the location of her final resting place remained one of history's most tantalizing mysteries. A breakthrough in the search for Cleopatra's tomb came in the early 21st century. This remarkable discovery was spearheaded by Dr. Zahi Hawass, Egypt's former minister of antiquities, and Kathleen Martinez, a Dominican lawyer turned self-taught archaeologist with a profound passion for Cleopatra. Driven by her admiration for Cleopatra and extensive research into ancient texts, Martinez proposed that Cleopatra and Mark Antony were buried in the Temple of Tapasiris Magna, near the ancient city of Alexandria. Martinez's theory was based on a careful analysis of historical accounts by Plutarch and Cassius Dio, which suggested that Cleopatra might have been laid to rest in a temple dedicated to the goddess Isis. This theory challenged the long-held belief that Cleopatra was buried within Alexandria itself. In 2005, Martinez secured permission from Egyptian authorities to begin excavations at Tapasiris Magna. The excavation at Tapasiris Magna proved to be a formidable challenge. Situated on the outskirts of the Libyan desert, the site presented numerous obstacles, including unstable structures and intricate layers of archaeological deposits. Despite these challenges, over the years, the team unearthed significant artifacts such as coins bearing Cleopatra's image, statues, and inscriptions, all of which reinforced the theory that this site was closely tied to Cleopatra. One of the most captivating aspects of the excavation was the mysterious and seemingly coincidental nature of many discoveries. Key findings often aligned with unusual weather events, such as sudden sandstorms and unexpected downpours, as if these natural occurrences were guiding the archaeologists to critical areas. Some team members even reported vivid dreams and visions of ancient rituals, which they believed were forms of spiritual guidance. Among the most fascinating discoveries was a large, unfinished tunnel beneath the temple that led to a series of chambers. The tunnel, crafted with remarkable precision, suggested it was intended for someone of immense importance, possibly Cleopatra herself. Within these chambers, the team uncovered a hidden room containing a collection of golden artifacts and inscriptions referring to a Queen of Kings, a title frequently associated with Cleopatra. The initial announcement of Cleopatra's tomb sparked enormous media attention and captivated the public's imagination. Press conferences were held, documentaries were created, and the artifacts were carefully cataloged and preserved. Many of these items, including statues, jewelry, and coins, were displayed in museums around the world, attracting millions of visitors eager to delve into Cleopatra's era. Following this remarkable discovery, Tapasiris Magna became a central hub for ongoing archaeological research. Scholars and historians teamed up to explore the surrounding area, uncovering additional structures and artifacts that shed more light on the Ptolemaic period. This discovery also prompted a re-evaluation of other potential burial sites across Egypt, leading to new excavations and the unearthing of fresh historical data. The site itself quickly became a popular tourist destination, significantly boosting the local economy and deepening appreciation for Egypt's rich cultural heritage. Educational programs and public lectures disseminated the knowledge gained from this discovery, inspiring a new generation of archaeologists and historians. Cleopatra's tomb offers a wealth of intriguing insights into her life and reign revealing a treasure trove of unique facts. One of the most impressive aspects of Cleopatra was her exceptional linguistic skills. She was fluent in multiple languages, including Egyptian, Greek, Latin, and possibly others, which enabled her to communicate effectively with various cultures and political leaders. This multilingual ability was a crucial asset in her diplomatic efforts, helping her forge and maintain strong political alliances. Cleopatra's reign was marked by a fascinating fusion of Egyptian and Hellenistic cultures. She fully embraced Egyptian customs and religious practices, even portraying herself as the reincarnation of the goddess Isis, while also preserving her deep connections to her Greek heritage. This cultural blend was evident in the art, architecture, and religious ceremonies of her era, contributing to a distinctive and vibrant cultural landscape. The tomb at Tapasiris Magna, 
believed to be Cleopatra's final resting place, stands as a testament to her architectural vision. This complex is adorned with intricate carvings, concealed chambers, and sophisticated tunnels, showcasing the advanced engineering and architectural prowess of the time. The design and construction of the tomb reflect the grandeur and elegance that Cleopatra likely envisioned for her eternal resting place. The artifacts unearthed within the tomb are rich in symbolism. Golden jewelry, statues, and inscriptions reveal Cleopatra's royal status, religious beliefs, and political ambitions. These treasures offer a glimpse into her life, her reign, and her aspiration to be remembered as a divine ruler. The symbols and inscriptions provide valuable insights into how Cleopatra saw herself and how she wished to be perceived by future generations. The discovery of hidden chambers and tunnels within the tomb complex suggests that Cleopatra took meticulous measures to safeguard the security and sanctity of her final resting place. These concealed features reflect a sophisticated grasp of architecture and a profound reverence for the afterlife. The presence of these hidden chambers and tunnels adds an air of mystery and intrigue, underscoring the lengths Cleopatra went to protect her legacy. The tomb complex at Tapasiris Magna is vast, with a network of interconnected chambers and tunnels. The main burial chamber, thought to be Cleopatra's final resting place, is adorned with intricate carvings and decorated with golden artifacts. The tomb's size and elaborate design suggest it was built for a person of great importance, reinforcing the theory that it belongs to Cleopatra. Among the artifacts unearthed were numerous statues, some portraying Cleopatra herself, while others depicted various Egyptian gods and goddesses. The team also discovered a treasure trove of golden jewelry, including necklaces, bracelets, and rings, many of which are adorned with hieroglyphs and symbols linked to royalty and divinity. Additionally, coins bearing Cleopatra's image and inscriptions were found, further validating the identification of her tomb. These artifacts not only emphasize Cleopatra's royal stature, but also offer a tangible connection to this historic figure, deepening our understanding of her life and reign. One of the most enduring enigmas surrounding Cleopatra is the exact nature of her death. While the traditional narrative claims she ended her life by allowing an ASP, a venomous snake, to bite her, some scholars have proposed alternative theories. Another fascinating theory suggests that Cleopatra's relationship with Rome was far more intricate than is often depicted. Some historians argue that her alliances with Julius Caesar and later with Mark Antony were part of a grander scheme to forge a unified Greco-Roman Egyptian empire, with Alexandria as its capital. According to this theory, Cleopatra's ambitions reached beyond the borders of Egypt, aiming to establish a new world order under her reign. Additionally, the discovery of Cleopatra's tomb has fueled speculation about a possible curse linked to disturbing her final resting place, akin to the legendary curse of Tutankhamun's tomb. Some believe that those who enter Cleopatra's tomb may encounter misfortune, or even supernatural consequences. While there is no solid evidence to confirm this theory, it certainly adds a layer of mystery and the lure to the discovery. One of the most intriguing aspects surrounding the search for Cleopatra's tomb is the alignment of astrological events with key moments in the excavation. Researchers observe that major breakthroughs often occurred in tandem with significant celestial phenomena, such as eclipses and planetary conjunctions. Some speculate that these alignments were not mere chance but rather indicators of divine influence or ancient knowledge embedded within the tomb's design. Members of the excavation team even reported experiencing sudden flashes of intuition and inexplicable hunches, which often led them to crucial discoveries like hidden chambers or the deciphering of cryptic inscriptions. While these phenomena defy scientific explanation, they certainly add an air of mystery to the entire process. Cleopatra's legacy also involved her strategic portrayal as a divine ruler. She closely aligned herself with the goddess Isis, frequently depicting herself as the goddess's earthly incarnation. This association was a calculated move to legitimize her rule and deepen her connection with the Egyptian people. The artifacts uncovered in her tomb, including statues and inscriptions depicting her as Isis, highlight this divine aspect of her reign. We hope you enjoyed our video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content like this. Thanks for watching.